Hello, adventurers, and welcome back to Subnautica. I'm Gray, and I've been exploring the ocean a little bit, and here we found a laser cutter fragment, which I shall scan. I also found some other fragments. For example, I, I unlocked the scanner room recipe. I can now make a trash can, and I don't know what else I found, but some other stuff I already got. And also, there's a freaking infected fish over here, some sand shark that's infected, and I don't think that's good. I think that's radiation, and that's probably unhealthy. Anyway, that's a creature egg. I don't think I've got that creature. Ooh, stay away! Okay, that must be that creature's egg then. How big is it? Pretty big. I'm gonna just collect a variety of creature eggs. I also did die one time. And it was really dumb, because I was just got- gr I just got greedy and was exploring a little bit on my own, and stayed underwater a bit too long. And I expected that my flotation device, the one right here, the air bladder, would be like a floaty where you just press a button and it, com it like fills up instantly. Like a scientific floaty. It would fill up and then carry you to the surface super fast. That's apparently not the case. Turns out it just lets you rise slightly faster than normal. And so because of that, I basically died. Also, wh what the heck is this place? Why is it so deep? Where the heck is this? That's not good. I'm not, I'm not ready for this yet. I don't have as good new enough equipment yet. So as I said, today my goal is to explore the Aurora. I've gotten done pretty much what I wanted to do before I explore the Aurora. However, there is a life pod really close by. Like, a life pod number six just hanging out over here. And I've never taken a look at that. So once I grab some oxygen, I'm going to take a quick peek at the life pod. See if it has some data logs on it. It's, I don't have a radio broadcast for it. But I do have a new radio broadcast that I just haven't looked at yet. So it might have been for LifePod 6. Which would be really funny. Because that means I found it before I was even supposed to find it. Just randomly. There's also a broken down ship over there. Which I might loot some scrap metal from. Passing 100 meters. But first of all. Oxygen here is a data box. Ultra Glide Fins! Ah! Oh, that's so much better than a data log. I'm gonna make that so I can swim so much faster. And that's a data log. Okay. Anything inside? Oh, there is something inside. Wow, I'm unlocking everything, aren't I? Should I scan those flares? Maybe. I don't know why I need to scan flares, but... I'll also go take a quick look at the ship over here. There might be something to scan. I've been over here a little bit and I scanned a couple of things, but there might be stuff that I missed. I was just hunting for scrap metal and titanium and that stuff. Laser cutter! Oh, I can make a laser cutter now! And I can explore that ship, that other ship that's really close to my base once I make that. What the heck is- is that a freaking- Why is that here? <laughs> I'm gonna be moving some boxes around with that. Like these, these storage boxes down here, I'm just gonna be pushing them. Did these aliens use that? Or I know this this is part of the Aurora, right? This the ship. So I guess we had that on the Aurora and we were using it for things. Aurora. For some reason the word Aurora is really annoying for me to say. Back when I was in middle school and in elementary school, I had a little bit of a speech impediment with saying R's. I would have a hard time pronouncing R's differently from L's and L's differently from R's. Which sounds so stereotypically Asian. Oh my that thing literally is called a sand shark. I was just making a reference to the movie. Like, you know, there's a movie about sand sharks that's really crappy. It's like a sci-fi movie. But my my dad and I kind of ironically love it just because of how bad it is. It's one of those sci-fi movies that's so bad it's good, in my opinion. Oh, you can go inside here? Should, but should I? But could I? <laughs> yeah, I probably should, honestly. What's in here? Can I even see? Nope, I can't. And there's another sand shark. I'm gonna go explore that after I get some oxygen. There's probably nothing in there, but... Nope, there's nothing in here. Wow. How exciting. The interior of a ship. It, truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. Oh. Um. Sure. <laughs> Infected. Wow. That's nice. Okay, what will it take to make the cutter? Plasma cutter, plasma cutter. It requires two diamonds, which I have, titanium and cave sulfur, which I have, and a battery, 
which I have, but I don't want to take out of my tools to make. So I probably should make a new battery. How about the other stuff I found? What about the new fins? Or the new flippers or whatever they are. Where do I make the flippers at? Or do I need a new crafting device? Okay, it should be in blueprints somewhere. So bar table and trash can I can make now. Scanner. Oh yeah, scanner room is one thing I unlocked. Locates resources and wrecks within range. That's nice. Cyclops engine blueprint, not yet. Scanner room range upgrade. I do not have magnetite and I don't know where to get it, but I can do a speed upgrade. Camera drone. Okay, those are scanner room things. Modification station. What? The, what? What's a modification station? Is that something I have to make? Is that a broom? I assume that's a room that I haven't made yet. I haven't unlocked the seam off, but I'm getting there. I have unlocked the laser cutter. So I'm going to work on that laser cutter now and get it built probably. And I'm also going to check out these crew logs, number one. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there. I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. I feel like they did. <laughs> Poor them. What else did I need for this? laser cutter oh the, the battery what, what, what else did i need for that battery i needed two times ba oh wait no no two astro missions and a copper okay and also i will play this other message that was in here crew log two what are you doing you were gone so long i thought you drowned put the flare down i was going to try and attract someone's attention that's not a distress flare stop waving it around like that you'll catch the fuel line What a moron! <laughs> uh, I don't know about this, man. <laughs> I don't know what accent I'm trying to do. But all I know is that I'm an idiot. I don't even have a language. I just have this accent. Anyway, I have a laser cutter and now it's time to head to the Aurora. Okay. So before anything else, I want to show off the little, uh, bi big, I should say, extension to the house I made. So, if you come over here, there's a room with a view. <laughs> Look at how high up we are. This is basically as high up as I could make it, because when I hop out of this hatch... Whoa! Well, <laughs> Look at that. And you can actually enter it. You can't actually reach that hatch from here. And if you're wondering how I was able to get that hatch up there, and place a ladder inside so I can go up and down quickly, it's, it's using this. Leap! <laughs> You need the sea glide to make it, and then you can go down and up just from down here, really easily. I'm happy with how this turned out, because now I have a super quick way to get from the surface down to ground level. Now, well, my sea glide needs that power to be able to use it. Either that, or I need to get the high-powered fin so I can jump up higher faster. Faster, stronger. But other than that, it's pretty nice. Can I add, like, a little... I can add a hatch to the end, but I don't really want to do that. There's an L glass compartment I could do. What would that even look like over here? It would look like that. And then I'd get a nice view of the Aurora if I did that. You know what? I kind of want to do that sometime. But I don't have enough glass right now. Actually, I want to see what it looks like. So let me let me do that. <laughs> and there we go. A beautiful view of the Aurora. Look at this. Oh, I'm happy with how this turned out. <laughs> yeah. This is a nice little base here. Man. I don't know about the structural integrity of something like this. It's kind of breaking the laws of physics. This is like a Minecraft build, to be honest. I'm just building up above the water and just like branching off sideways, breaking gravity. I just want to say, in my search for replenishing my nutrients, I have switched over to making bleach using uh, coral tube samples and salt. I've got it, Cortana. And I can make disinfected water, which has more water than filtered water is easier to make because it just requires some salt and some coral tubes and it makes two of them so this is going to be a much better source of liquids than my previous methods 
And let me see how much they refill. 30 per drink. And it's microorganism free. That's refreshing. And I've also restocked in some table corals that I'm just going to keep stored because I don't want to have to head back to the spawn area that often if I don't have to. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I might get a little bit more water and then play this radio message before I leave and head over to the, um, to the Aurora. Actually, I was going to charge my batteries before I left, but I, I, I lack the power to charge them. I'm at zero out of 75 power, which fortunately I'm still able to get oxygen made with this no power for some reason. However, I'm not able to do much else, and that's problematic because I need to get these batteries charged to make sure that my sea glide doesn't run out when I'm traveling. So I'm probably going to make myself an interior module, probably a bioreactor. Shouldn't be too hard to make. I just need a wiring kit, some lubricants, and I think I can go ahead and make some lubricant because I think I have some creep vines stored. Yep, yep. So what does a wiring kit require, though? I just left, and I'm back. Why can't I, why can't I access this? It's unpowered. Are you serious? No, 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 no. I'm taking these out. Taking these out. Taking these out. I'm not dealing with that. I can't fabricate when I'm out of power. I need to make more solar panels too. Dang it. How much do I need to use this? You know, I'm going to go ahead and play the radio message. Wiring kit. Two so What? That is not okay. That is scary. Jesus. I don't even have the silver to make a wiring kit. Come on! Why don't I have anything good? <laughs> Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Ooh, an eye stalk. It's like a stalk covered in eyes. What's it? A cable and tuber photosensitive eyes. Okay. I'm just hunting for resources. Don't worry about me. I just want to give updates when I find something cool. Um, what the heck? What are you? What the heck? What the? <laughs> that gave me shivers. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a bioreactor made, man. I don't know where to put it. I don't have room for it. Do I need to make one of those big rooms to be able to be able to make a bioreactor? I guess so. Maybe I need one of those multi-purpose, those big multi-purpose rooms. The problem is then... Okay, you know what? I might just go for what I have. How much power is in my Seaglide? 30. That's not enough. I'm swapping batteries. I do not have a good battery. You know what? Screw it. I'm throwing these two batteries in here. I'm taking my battery out of this thing and putting it in my sea glide and we're going on this adventure whether you like it or not take it or leave it we're going wait did i already make a lubricant earlier oh I, okay yeah that's the lubricant i needed here let me store my building resources where should i place them my crafting so for the bioreactor i need to remember i have everything i need for it stored in here there's the titanium there's some gold, silver, and I have some excess water. I don't have excess food because I don't really have food that won't spoil. And I, what I've learned now is I need to gather salt as I go because salt is very vital for making food that doesn't spoil and for making water that's a lot more beneficial. And I've been ignoring it until now, but I should probably work on getting as much salt as I can. But it's time to head to the Aurora. Let me make sure I have my laser cutter. I do. Okay. Aurora! Here I come. I don't know how far away you are. Probably really far. And I don't know how much I can explore, but I cleared out my entire inventory just so I could try and maximize the space. I should probably- I'm keeping my propulsion cannon because I feel like there might be some radioactive beast or some, some annoying creatures there that might bug me. And I should probably use my propulsion cannon to kill them if I can. Except I don't have a power source for it. How much is in my- okay, I don't need a flashlight. 
I'll give my propulsion cannon the light source. And I'm getting Discord messages again, but that's okay. It doesn't look like it's too far, but it's a matter of perspective, I guess. And I forgot to play the new radio message. Hey, it's one of you guys again. How you doing? You're a great, you're a great Leviathan guy. Reef back. What's on your back? A rogue cradle. Actually, have I ever scanned that? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I want to scan the rogue rouge cradle. What's it say? Complex cave dwelling flora specimen. Wards off herbivores. What a nice creature. Reefback is so friendly. Now where am I going? This way. Okay, so so the Aurora happened to land on shallow, shallow land, so that's nice. I have radiation protection, so I should be alright. There's actually some of the water fish around here, because I couldn't find any back home. And some giant tubes, which I can use to get tube pieces off of, like this. Oh, like that. And that's what I need to make bleach which i need to make good water so that's nice there's a tube that goes down there in a loop for some reason there's lots of good stuff around the aurora the question is where's the entrance to the aurora because i can get over here but i don't know how to get in it's blown up you can tell by the by the somewhat low quality model salt i need to collect that what's this titanium special equipment needed let me circle around this Aurora. I think my graphics are set kind of low on this computer, just because I'm on my laptop and not on my desktop. So I apologize about that. Is this a way in? No, that's not a way in. Must be around the other side. Jesus, it's huge! How am I supposed to explore this? There has to be a way in. The Aurora has to have some rare things for me to scan and stuff. I mean, I've kind of left it around here for a long time anyway. How the heck am I supposed to contain this? Can I climb here? It looks like I can. I don't know if this is the correct way to get in. This place is shaking. I don't know about these textures, man. And I also don't know about the way I've decided to try and get in. Is this going to work? Is this a way in? Can I climb in here? I'm just on the back. This does not look like a way in. This looks like a way to danger. There's no way this is the way in. I don't have a power source for my flashlight. Okay, I'm hopping off. Away! Dive! Dive! Oh, man. I think I might have found the way in. It only took me circling the entire ship, but I have found the front. And this is the part that's been destroyed, and it looks like the likely entrance. Somewhere somewhere around here, probably. I'm pretty far away from base. It's about 1,100 meters. Oh, I'm lagging a little bit. There must be an entrance somewhere here, though. Maybe over there? I can't really see, because it's so dark. Is it this way? I need my flashlight, but it doesn't have power, and... Okay, here. Maybe I can remove my power from this real quick. Warning. Ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Oh. Um, I don't have the fire extinguisher on me right now. Which might be problematic. I'm not sure. Is this a way in? I hope this is a way in. I need to get in here. No, it doesn't seem like it. What the heck? Where do I go? What do I do? Is this a way in? Can I go from underneath? No, it's not. I'm not sure how to get in here. It's so dark and I can't tell what's going on. Oh my, this is annoying. Where's the entrance? Okay, I decided to come back home to my base, get a couple of things done, built a new solar panel, charged all my batteries to max, got some food and water, I even have a little bit of cured food that I'm going to take with me and hope that it carries while I visit the Aurora. I have a radio message to check out. Hopefully it's not a creepy one. 
Oh, it's just a regular life pod distress signal. Thanks, radio. Oh. That life pod is dead. <laughs> Straight up dead. Anyway, now I'm truly going to go to the Aurora. I also grabbed my fire extinguisher. And what that means is any fires in the Aurora, other than the entire ship, of course, I can't put that out. But any small fires that are blocking the way, I can put out. So that means I can truly explore it. Without worries about fire being in the way. Without worries of locked doors being in the way. No issues. I'm going to get in there. Loot everything. And it's going to be amazing. It took way too much prep to get ready for this. <sighs> I hope I find something to make a sea moth. Because I want another blueprint piece for that. So I can actually explore deeper underwater without too much worries. Anyway. Nice of you to see me, Mr. Reefback. You are my friendo here. You're my one true pal on this journey. I like your tentacle, Sama. It's pretty nice. What the heck is this? Did I just find a random life pod just hanging out here? But when I say hanging out, I'm not joking that because it's upside down, but I'm also joking because it's upside down. Anyway, can I get in? I want to get in this life pod. What the heck? What is this? Why is this life pod here just upside down? And why can't I get in it? Is it broke? Oh, there's a hole. And a data box? Creature decoy. Attracts creatures to its location. Wow. And a first aid kit. You know what? That first aid kit might help me on this journey. So there wasn't actually a data log for this thing, unless it's on the bottom here. There's this. What the heck is this? Moon pole fragment? What the heck is a moon pole? Well, I've unlocked the blueprints for it. Oh, there's a mushroom here? What is this place? What is this mushroom? Can I scan it? Tree mushroom. Interesting. And what are these? Oh, uh, those are just attachments to the tree mushroom. Can I... Oh, what, what's this? Cyclops! But I don't even have the sea moth yet! But now I've unlocked the, a part of the cyclops at the very least. I'm gonna scan this jelly ray. I feel like it might be dangerous to get too close to him. Or it, I should say. Not to be rude, but you are an it. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. I need to go to the Aurora. And I need to not drown. So, preferably. Those are two things I'd prefer doing right now. But I also do need to scan these Cyclops pieces. Because if I can get the Cyclops ready before the seam off, that would be weird. I need one more piece. Propulsion cannon? That would just give me titanium. Is there anything else hidden around here? Because that was a pretty nice find. Some salt. I know I have 30 seconds, but I'm close to the surface. I'll be okay. What's that? What are these things? Oh, there's so much to explore. So many things to find. And there's going to be so much more within the Aurora, I'm sure. Let me take a look at this, though. There's several containers. That it's so easy to find stuff here because it's a time capsule. Oh, crap. I should have scanned it first. Time capsules rise above. Tragedy one day, success next. Never give hope, keep moving forward. Oh, what a nice photo that was. Too bad the guy's probably dead. I saw another like container over here. Okay. What's in this? Oh, it's it's a it's a chest? Supply crate. Battery? You know what? I'll take a battery. How charged is it? Uh it's at one hundred percent charge? That's way too convenient. Who leaves a battery at the bottom of the ocean? Anyway, I'm going to keep exploring as I head towards the Aurora. Transmitter. Power transmitter fragment. I can now make a power transmitter. What what does a power transmitter do? I'm getting a lot of titanium from this. I'm probably going to end up dropping a lot of it on the ship, to be honest. On the Aurora. Because I don't really need that much titanium whenever there's so much better stuff to be found. I'm really excited right now. I just want to explore, but I don't have that much time because I got to go to a class in a moment. Dang it. And I have homework to do too. But first, Aurora. Aurora is first priority. I thought they said there's not much life around here. I don't want any of you beasts. I'm glad it's daytime now though, so it won't be as dark when I try to explore. Assuming I get there when it's still day. I'm back, Aurora. Nice to see you again. Maybe I'll find a way in this time. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Is this a way in? 
Nope. Is that a way in? That looks like a way in. Yes, this is definitely it. I've done it. I found the way. I know the way. I can show you the way. This is the way. Okay. Oh, there are these annoying crabs. You know what? A few. Get out. Get out of here. You you too. Get out. Okay. What what is there to Oh, F you. Now it's starting to get dark, but that's all right. Floodlights. That's a big scan. For some reason, that was a bigger scan than it should needed to be. Acquired. New blueprint for floodlights. Now, how do I get in here? Do I need to cut it? I don't think so. I, I, I don't... Oh, I can do this! Oh! So I need, like, a combination of everything if I'm gonna get in here. That's interesting.